Hey guys, Jason, and I'm here bringing you guys some awesome news. So many of you guys have heard about ASIC Miner. If you haven't, it is basically a collection of 400,000 shareholders, which was created a couple of years ago, back on GLBSE, back when before it like disappeared. You know what I mean? And um, basically, their idea was let's pr let's fund a project to produce ASIC mining boards. At the time, the only one really looking into it was Butterfly Labs. They said, uh. They're kind of shady, which we're seeing now. And they're saying, let's invent it. Let's take everybody's money collectively, crowdsourcing, and put it towards a common goal. And by golly, they did it. Now, they didn't beat Avalon, but they did come in second place. And they're going to have a higher hash rate than Avalon, I think, by the end of the um, month. Now, one of the things interesting is they um, are reported to have, by the end of May, they'll have 57 terahashes of worth of mining equipment online. Well, people say, well, wait. I just in my last report said that we're at 56 terahashes of the entire network. Isn't that kind of scary? Yeah, it's kind of scary. So this is what they're doing. They said, well, we can't have more than half, even half. They probably are going to look at probably 33%, somewhere around that range, to pay their bondholders, which are their 400,000 shareholders. Um, which, oh, again, the price went from a year ago, 0.1 bitcoins a share, to almost 1.2 bitcoins a share. So there's people almost 12 times over their money just the shares and not including the dividends they received on those shares, which is crazy. But let's get to the moral of the story. Those things that you've been seeing up here this entire time, those are chips. Now these are um, ASIC miner chips that they designed. Each board does 10 gigahashes. Now why that doesn't seem like much, okay, look, I'm not going to lie, that's a lot of, that's a lot of mining power. Um, I'll put some statistics off to the side of how much that can mine. It's crazy amount of money. Um, the only problem right now is, the question is, will it make its money back? There was a lot of questions and debates in the forum, but, um, you know, if you, if you bought Bitcoins at $5, I can see, you know, people saying, well, let's just see mining. Um, one of the biggest fears that I've heard about, and I, I concur with, because I looked into probably purchase one of these boards while it was kind of out of my price range, I thought, well, maybe if we can make the money back. Um, the problem you run into, first of all, is Bitcoin's price. If it jumps up too high, that um, capital that you paid for the device or the chips, you lose out on what the Bitcoin price would be worth later on, say six months, a year down the road. You know, energy costs, it's pretty energy efficient, which is awesome. Again, isn't this board just amazing? Doesn't it just look awesome? Um, of course, it's just the green board. There's no other like, components around it. They do have a slot holder that if you have 10 of them, it holds, which actually they're selling 10. Actually, selling's the wrong word. They're auctioning it off. And I think they all went for around 60 Bitcoins. They made a Fuck of a lot of the money. Don't you just love my grammar? That was like terrible, wasn't it? But yeah, they did make a lot of money off this, and their bondholders or shareholders are kind of the same word in the context of ASIC miner. But um, they're going to be seeing a nice dividend coming out, and there's rumor. Here's what you guys need to hear about. There's a rumor that they're only going to have three or four more auctions. Now you might ask yourself why. Well, didn't you just hear what I said? And that's not a rude, you know, pronunciation. That's just saying, didn't you just hear what I said? Um, they're going to have 57 terahashes worth of mining equipment. They're going to sell it off. They're probably going to sell off 30, 20 terahashes, 30 or 20. And this is going to be interesting because when they do, first of all, they're going to make a heck of a lot of money for their um, bondholders or shareholders, however you want to call it. But they're also going to get a lot of mining equipment out to people. And they, they're known, just like now, they, they ship them as soon as people pay for them, which is great. I, I find that really, you know, really nice because with BTC, oh, not BTC, but Butterfly Labs, you had to pay the pre-order and now people are waiting a year to still get their stuff back. Um, and Avalon's batch two and three, like I said in my uh, newscast, are, is coming out soon. So this will be interesting. I think we're going to see at the end of May, April or um, end of May, hash rate's going to go up exponentially. And watch out for ASIC miner. I think their shares will probably go up to about two bitcoins, maybe. But um, interesting times we live in, folks. Thanks for watching.